a long, long time ago. No, not that far back. And now we are going to talk about the three branches. No, no, no. Not these, these branches. No, which ones? You know, the legislative, the one that makes the laws, the executive, the one that vetoes and approves laws, and the judicial, the one that announces the laws. Where have you been in social studies? So, the legislative branch has just written some new laws. The first one is, uh, you can only eat Taco Bell for the rest of your life. And the second one is, my personal favorite, is no school. Woohoo! Now on to talk about the amendments. To pass any amendments, the, you had to be approved unanimously. So not a lot of amendments were passed. And to amend the Constitution, three-fourths of the states are needed. Some people who were there were Benjamin Franklin, George Washington, Governor Morris, um, James Madison, and Alexander Hamilton. Originally, they had planned to amend the Articles of Confederation, but in their meeting, they decided to make up a new plan of government, the Constitution. When everyone asked what they were doing, they lied and said that they were going to amend the Articles of Confederation, but secretly they had planned to do the Constitution. They were liar, liar, pants on fires. Ah, oh, my pants, stand fire! To ratify or amend the Constitution, 9 out of 13 states had to reach an agreement. Everyone was so stubborn, though, that they liked their own opinion. So it took them three and a half months just to finally make a decision. Now, let's just say when you get older, you want to be a representative. Well, you have to be at least 25 years old. I know, that's really old. <laughs> and to serve in one term, you have to serve two years. Now, if you would like to be a senator, you must be at least 30 years old and serve one term. Now, on to the presidents. You might wonder, what do they do all day? Do they sit around eating your chips and watching movies? Well, no, they don't. They don't? 